katika jina la Yesu kurejesha kila doa kwa msingi wa Mungu it must be that way now do you know something i had an issue of a, a lady alihudhuria sana mikutano ya couples ya tv fulani tv fulani na the more alihudhuria badara ya kupenda mume wake alielewa doa sana na kaielewa na akapata maroho mengine badra ya kuelewa doa akielekea kwa mume badra ya kuelewa doa akielekea kwa mume na akielekea kwa Mungu alielewa doa kivyake ikielekea kwake so the wife became self centered ubinafsi wa mama ndio ulijengwa the other day i saw i, I, I could see a seminar that ilikuwa somewhere at the vicar road in a hotel ukiangalia kile watu wanaambiwa mama akiingia hapo akiwa mkora mzee akiingia hapo akiwa mkora atabaki kuwa mkora because what is being offered sometimes in these seminars is marriage motivational speeches and philosophy but not marriage as truth na watu sasa they are, watu sasa wameanza kutamani philosophy instead of truth what am unajua if you have been to bible college i don't know the, the bible, bible college one of the issues that uh, you need to be careful about is biblical philosophy 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 huwa si kitu si kitu tashika hivi if mtu akiwa na philosophy ya pesa philosophy atakupatia maidea mengi lakini hata kupatia hatua ya 1 plus 1 equals 2 utakaa kwa hewa now let me give example if today mtu atumilia tutumia biblia in motivation way ni kwambia you shall be the head and not the tail utaona sikia mzuri eh you shall be above not beneath you feel good but kuna wakati tunasema let's talk about what do we mean by being above we make it truth we make it truth ukiambia leo mtu ambaye ni mwenye dhambi ni mulevi eh umwambia you shall be the head and not the si atafurahi lakini mulevi so atakuwa kichwa sasa ata interpret namna gani katika context ya ulevi ukiambia kahamba <laughs> ukiambia like now tuseme kuna mume anatesa mke wake umwambie you shall be the head and not the tail you are establishing that husband eh unamjenga akiwa hivyo na anatafsiri hiyo ukweli akiwa katika hiyo level ya kutesa mke Now that's now an issue inatusubua. Kwamba utapata dada ana ujuzi mwingi na amesoma. Lakini <laughs> unajua uh, tukienda mikutano na hao mabishop wazee marafiki zangu. One thing you notice wake zao hawakusoma mambo mengi but they fear god and i remember one time we were charged by bishop macharia na ikawa issue kwa maana tukienda mikutano sisi tunasimamisha magari ndio tukule breakfast on the way na ni asubuhi yeye anasema mr kula mke wangu alinipa ikafanyika mara tatu akamwambia bishop nina maswali kai kanitha wathukire kai kanisa diharibika yani mume wao ai what's going on kama kwa nini kwa maana mimi niliambia mke wangu naenda mkutano kikopi ninaondoka saa 12 mke wangu aliamka saa 9 amen 
Mimi saa kumi already nimepelekewa maji kwa bafu nimeoga mzuri. Five nilikuwa nimeketishwa nikashiba. Six nikapewa bag nikasidikishwa mpaka kwa gate na nikabonia na amani. Kwenu kwani mnafanywaga nini? Tukienda mkutano lazima gari simamishwe mkule madasa samosa kama taika nili. <laughs> you see she was so serious about it. Tunaenda giugiu magari simama wapi? Daramea. Ukute mchugaji samosa tatu mayai bili. Yeye yeah, anasema maji moto tu ya kutuliza mimi. Na anasema hapana nilipewa. And you know akaniambia bishop wake zetu hawakusoma mambo mengi haya lakini walisoma mambo machache tu. Tunza mume wako. Full stop. Nasi tukasoma kitu kimoja tu penda mke wako vile Kristo alivyo kanisa full stop Amen Wake zetu waliambiwa mume wako die kuhani na nampi tunza mafuta wakashika hivyo Na ni kweli ukienda kwa hizo nyumba you really hear mama kiita mume wake baba Kamau those wives angali anaita mume wake bishop angali anaita mume wake mtumishi hata kwa nyumba wasema hiyo ndio tulifundishwa full stop na wakaachwa sasa bwana sio sana amen alafu tukienda kidogo anapigiwa simu mumefika wapi tukifika mulifika eh tukirudi kwa jia anapigiwa simu mwere muru eh anatuliza nyinyi kama kama tora hiyo kule amuri nini baya na ikawa issue ikawa issue nini kubwa kama wanaenda safari pamoja praise the lord unakuta huu mzee kama mnakuta saa mbili ako hapo nani amesababisha mama aliamuka mape Wengine nakuta amechelewa. Asubuhi kwa muka ni kuvurutana. Wapi socks? Nini? Nini? Paka inashidwa. Kwani kwani hii elimu mko naye nyingi? Haisaidi? Kwani nini tunasoma? Hao hawakusoma sana lakini waliambiwa muogope Mungu. Wakatosheka. Haleluya. Kama ni sex anaambiwa sex ni huduma. Karibisha huko mgeni, wageni hapo baba. Kama ni sex anaambiwa kupatia mume wako mwili wako ni sehemu yako ya huduma. Na ina kwa hivyo kununulia mke wako nguo kumikishwa sure mke wako wako na pesa na kama mzuri ukiwa mume anambua hiyo si kitu mna negotiate hiyo ni sehemu yako ya mwito hao wazao walikuwa tunambua hivi kama hukupea mume wa, mke wako chakula we si mtumishi haikuwa mambo ya ku haikuwa mambo ya tumnaongea praise the lord haleluya ilikuwa ilikuwa kama na yeye na yeye na bidi bi na hapo kuna shida sasa siku hizi unaweza kuona huu ni muhubiri. Amekasirikia mume wake mke wake wiki mbili. Kwa nyumba haja acha chakula wiki ngapi? Mbili na anakuwekera mikono. Kwani kuacha chakula kwa nyumba familia ikule? Is it a condition or a duty? Kama umeokoka, wokovu wetu unahubiri hata kuwe kubaya namna gani hata kuwe kubaya namna gani na kwa maana doa inaanza kwa uhai amen kama doa yako ilianza kwa uhai na doa yako hata kuwe nini ina msingi fulani 
Huwezi toka kwako ukose nini? Kuacha chakula. Huwezi kosa kufanya nini? Shopping. Sasa siku hizi unakuta mzee unakuta mastaka na kuja. Mzee unakuta anako na gari. Na watoto hawakulipiwa school fees. Just because mama alikataa na mapenzi. Sasa siku hizi kuna ujinga fulani wa mapepo. Tumekuja kufukuza huo ujinga tuko na yeye, mko na yeye, tuko na hapa. Tika iwe tu ah. Kwa ibada ndio mnaonga mzuri, mnatokea. I know Yesu Kristo. It's true. Mimi nimekuwa kwa huduma miaka hii yote. I can tell you the truth. There are things that are not going on well. One time nita siasa sana kwa Macharidi, wapili usijali. Macharidi. Unakuta chiridi ni mama mzuri hivi mna lakini unaweza where's your husband? Kwa maana umama akiongoza siseme mjini hapa ni kusema tu. Akiongoza kanisani si anajua kutawala wa mama. Haja fundishwa kwapa kwa mzee si kutawala. Sasa waz, nikagudua wazee wengi waume wa wamama viongozi wameanza kuwa hardened. Na saa zingine wanateswa me I know of a family watumishi wageingia watoto wanaambiwa kuku ni ya wahuduma na baba yenu asikule si mhuduma ni kwa babu yangu moja paka babu akaanza kuojeka babu anakonda watumishi wananenepa siku moja babu yangu akachukua paga akaenda kwa gate akasema wao hao wahubiri shetani wakuja nitawaua kwa maana aligudua the more wanakuja the more mke wake hana haja na yeye na nikafikiria kuna kaze kamoja kalikuwa kananyang'anya babu shushu how are you do hado kire we ai nuruwa yesu kristo ai nuruwa yesu kristo na hiyo kitu nifuatilia kwa sababu Nilijua kitu kimoja. Nilijua kitu kimoja. Kijana wa hiyo family baadaye miaka mingi. Baadaye miaka mingi. Tukakutana shop akaambia bishop, nikwambia kitu eh lazima kila usiku kwa ile butchery nipimie baba sasa mi ule ni babu nimpimie nusu kilo ya nyama tumatunda akule every lunch kwa nini kwa maana jua mama yangu hutesa baba yangu sasa ule babu ni babu yangu baadaye haikuweko now look at that issue something just happened now we need to go back to the lazima doa sasa ziokoke tumeokoka sana huku nje Tumeokoka sana kwa madhabahu tukisifu. Tumeokoka sana sana tukifanya ushering. But we want now to know is your marriage saved? Hata iko sawa tuibatize. Na ijaswe roho. Kama ndoa inazana na kuruka, ndoa inene kuruka pia. Because kama hiyo haitafanyika kutakuwa na kipindi cha udanganyifu. Na kwa maana tutakapozeeka utarudi kwako hata Hezekia aliyabuaje rudi kwa nyumba yako ujipange kwa sababu utaku kwa maana utarudi kwa nyumba hiyo is an issue one day i met a man nikwambia mimi na mazishi katanga mzee mmoja kwa shopping center akanisimamisha akambia bishop habari yako unaona mazishi eh, twende na alikuwa mlevi saa tatu. nikamuliza wewe ulikunywa shangapi akaniambia sitakuficha mimi nimekuwa nimeajiriwa kama kama mfanyikazi KTTC na nimeritaya umeritaya eh lakini bishop kuna kitu kimenishangaza nimeishi maisha ya sifo servant because hakuwa mwalimu alikuwa sifo servant kule Kenya Technical Training College another life ambao kwa nyumba yangu haikuweko bishop nimeritaya kuja kukaa na mke i discovered we are not compatible 
anaambia sasa bishop niko na miaka karibu 70 akili yangu na ya mke wangu haziyapatani number 2 mimi nimeishi kazini nikikula vizuri baada ya kulitaya kuna mtoto mmoja aliongeza katoka 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 dogo kako high school pesa hana amefika pahali ambapo wanakaa jikoni na mama anaitishwa shopping shopping at the age of 70 hiyo jina hajaisikia shopping pesa hana akamwambia akamwambia nilitoroka asubuhi na mape I'm trying to run away from my wife at the stage of retirement kwa sababu akili yangu na ya mke wangu nimegudua hasijawahi oana Akili yangu na ya mke miaka nimekaa we never married in mind na akaniambia they never married in habits Mzee amekuwa kazi Nairobi mama amekuwa Geshagi Mzee amekuwa supplier wa school fees amekuwa supplier wa pesa lakini hawajakaa na muke akili zao akili zao zikaoana when people stay together and you struggle together kuna sehemu mbili huoana akiri na tabia ndio mkifika miaka wakati mama ni amefika menopause mnajua mama akifika menopause anakuwa tu kama dugu tu kama dugu tu huyo the only difference is the features ile hormone hufanya mke wako awe awe female ile female kabisa inaisha naye mzee ile ukali ukali wako inafanya wewe tu kidugu kinukimodugu inashuka the only difference ni features lakini mmefanana <laughs> kama wadugu wawili wala tumezeeka you notice mke wako akifika menopause kuna aya wakati mama ana, anaingia sijika mama madevo na ako hiyo barabara tutaniambia tuta, 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 tutaangalia kitabulisho baadaye muke akianza maybe at the age of 48 maybe 51 unajua vile wewe dada ulikuwa kiwa kastana vile ulikuwa na hivi tu kitoka ulikuwa ukipata hivi kuna tokea the same behavior ukiteremka the ulikuwa na joto ukipada ulikuwa natoa blessed and secondary sexual characteristics mambo ya hormones feelings are so high una unatebea kama kama nyama <laughs> ukipa ukiwa okay, katine jai ukifika miaka kama 51 52 hiyo behavior ya kupanda hiyo behavior ya kupanda uh, inakuwa vice versa ukiteremka unakuta mama usiku hujielewi Unasikia joto, unasikia kuamuka, kulala, kuondoka. <laughs> Uziki, unasikia kama uko na malaria, kama uko na covid, hauna. Vitu. <laughs> na sometime vile mama alikuwa akie wakati kwa kasichana akipanda hivi alikuwa na ukali wa emotions, pia mama akaona kaukali. This time mama akiingia menopause sio ukali wa emotions, ukali wa akili unakuta kama mama mnangangana after some time hizo vitu zinaisha period hakuna Ik, akifika hapo ni, mama akifika menopause ni kama ameokoka wokovu wa kuzeeka <laughs> huwa haoni haja ya kubishana unless ako awe na pepo unakuta mama hana shughuli sana yali ile utoto mlikuwa naye mkosani hata pesa mkosani pesa ati mambo mengi uh, uh, uh. na hata wewe mzee unasikia umebadilika kiakili ukiongea unaongea kama mzee abao ako somehow condensed and solidified hello bwana inurue sada to go be the glory haya sasa angalia experiences zile huda watu hasa kiakili na kitabia 
hamukupitia na mke wako number 1 kuna wanaume hawakuruhusu kwa sababu utaki, wakati mtu kuna sehemu mbili zikiwa na watu husubuana sana akili na tabia you really struggle mke ukimuoa umoja kwa mtoto unamoa kwa na tabia zimeumbika kitu kile what else personality temperament unakuta labda yeye ni sanguine wewe ni choleric choleric wanakuwa wakali kama siba sanguine wanakuwa wepesi ni watu wa raha melancholy wanakuwa wale watu ambao si wakali but they are strict kai mnaelewa kuna tofauti ya kuwa mkali na kuwa nini strict personality neto ya choleric ni mtu mkali si ukali wa hasira ni ukali wa ni, ni fujo ni wale watu ambao hajali sana kama 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 amekuumiza kama kama ameoa ume, mke choleric akikuumiza unasikia hata una usigizi anakuchekelea Ah, kabio, hurali. Ah, hata kukufa na sakufa wewe. Kolele kajali sana, bora aigize goro. Hata kama na, anataka ku, kuruka mpaka kwa ile speaker, anaweza kanyaga yeye kichwa, akanyange wewe, akanyange wewe. Wewe acho kiramika, ni shauri yako, bora amefika. Kolele they are go achievers na ni wakali kidogo. Na melancholy, they are so strict kwamba anaangalia kama anaumiza mtu na anaangalia mambo kwa makini. Haya, choleric ni wa kuingiza goro. Melancholy ni umakini wa mahali anapitia. Haya, ule ana makini ya pale mbele, hana haja na ukatikati. Huyu ule ni wa quantity, huyu ni wa quality. Sasa <laughs> kama mtu ni choleric, mke akiwa choleric unless you muelewe mtakosana sababu easy personality sometime ni maumbile ya Mungu they say personality ya mtu inafanana na watu sita nyuma yako na you cannot change a person temporarily but badilisha but you can mold it lakini kama mtu haobi sana for instance petero was a sanguin wale watu ambao sanguin mtu itikia haraka aelewe baadaye In fact akiwa na pesa na ilikuwa kulipa nyumba uje hapa na unga atanunua unga akubuke leta pesa ilikuwa ya nyumba akienda pahali mfurahi sana kabisa mfurahi kabisa atasema sasa kila mtu akule kilo ya nyama lakini hiyo pesa ilikuwa kununua cement ni watu hubebwa na raha uzuri wake ata raha atakuweka na raha kabisa raha kabisa lakini pia anaweza kuwa mtu anayetikia tamaa aliona kasichana kazi kazini kakamwambia boss you are great akasikai oh. sa good nao ni ajabu hello melancholy tumesema ni watu watu strict they are hard working ni watu sacrificial shida yao ni kwamba ni wangumu wakati sa good huuda marafiki haraka 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 haraka. Hey, wewe ni ajabu. Wakati za anabia mzee, hey, you are smart nini? Kolelik atachukua munda. Ah no, melancholy atachukua munda to be afraid. Lazima kukague wiki points because kolelik lazima agalie wiki points. Kwa agalie mwema anaangalia wiki point. Hata kimwekea ugari iwe imeharibika kuota na dhiri kuota ni mzuri. Call. Eh, melancholy ataongea hilo hiyo one quarter kuliko three quarter. Pako hivyo sasa hiyo vitu what I've discovered kuna wale phlegmatic phlegmatic hawana raha and they are quite stubborn. Unakuta huyu jamaa hana shughuli na hana ubaya uzuri wake hamkosani. Lakini hata kitu kitu anafanya. Lakini they are very good advisors kwa counseling they are very good uh, na ukimpa mpahali awe caretaker they are very good 
they are very good lakini they are they are very poor initiators ku initiate kitu very poor but they are harmless shida yake ni kwamba kama wao wanaenda speed they are quietly stubborn haedi na hakatai na hana ubaya shida ya phlegmatic ni kwamba unless umweke gear ya mapenzi the more door inaenda hamu yake ya doa huisha na vile mnakaa katika miaka mingi sasa hii umeelewa kweli hiyo ni maubile sasa ukikana mtu haya nimesema choleric huwa huwa wakali na yeye hajali anapitia wapi bora to the achievers kama politicians some of them are very choleric nina mhubiri wangu mmoja alikuwa rafiki yangu alikuwa choleric sana sitasema ni nani pasta akiwa choleric mtaenda bali lakini members will be very bad poor hajali kama ameiba kama kama nataka kujenga cho hata kama wewe ni mlevi wewe leta pesa cho ijengwe yeye hajali quality anajali achievement lakini melancholy hata chukua hiyo pesa wewe ni mlevi wewe na pesa yako kaa mpaka uokoke melancholy ni sacrificial na ni watu strict na ni watu ambao ni ataka kitu perfect mrango huu aweza ungoa mara kumi paka kuingia mlango mzuri hawa watu ukiwa nao kanisani uwapatie project wa manage they are very good hata itaji supervision kwa maana kimaubire ye hupenda kitu perfect are we together shida yake ni kwamba ni mkali pande moja very strict wakati wewe wakati mgeda pale na mgeda pale na, na yeye haitiki kwa wepesi itabidi akague mambo uzuri wake anaogopa sana failure so kama atakuwa rafiki yako lazima akukague sana msije mkawa marafiki baadaye muharibu sagwin mtakuwa marafiki na mkosane hajali melancholy hataki urafiki ambao taharibika that's why kama mume mume wako alikuwa melancholy akakuengage utaona kikuengage alikakaa sana bila kukuambia roho roho mungu na muongozaji sawa na dada na kwa nini unarara hivyo ukienda mali kukutana ukitarewa kidogo kwa nini umecherewa hivyo wewe kitabu ile wewe ni mtu na akube na vazi ana kukimia ovyo ovyo melancholy they are very sacrificial they are hard working lakini ni watu ambao they are very strict na wao wana wana wakikuta kitu kitu ni kizuri uzuri hau na shida na wao wataka kuwa ni, ni, ni wapi kuna shida they major in negative they don't major in positive but they are very good kama Musa wa Biblia Moses was a melancholy melancholy they become very good pastors and bishops uzuri wa melancholy uh, ni vigumu sana wafanye kazi na choleric unaweza kuta bishop ni melancholy mudogo wa bishop ni choleric utakuta choleric anasubua melancholy kama wewe sasa ni melancholy unapenda kazi iende bali na iwe nzuri na iwe na utaratibu lakini ukiwa na mtu hapa assistant ambao ni choleric yeye anataka kuona mambo imeingia pale na hajali sana kama kutabomoka those are two people they can't work together itabidi moja avumilie mwingine that's why hii mambo ya uchaguzi na mambo ya vyama is an issue sasa mimi nikiwa bishop uh, uh, na nimejua hiyo mambo nikipewa nafasi ya kuunda vyama hello praise god hata wakati unauda parishes unakuta nasema na mchungaji fulani na fulani cannot work together 
Ulizani hao nikuwa nasema hivu. Because I know ule parish minister ni choleric. <laughs> ule pastor ni, ni phlegmatic. Phleg, haya. Phlegmatic mabia nini? Phlegmatic ni wapole lakini si upole mzuri ni upole wakawa mtu wa bama kwama hakuna kitu kipya huwa nataka ki analeta lakini mtu wa amani uzuri wake anaweza kuwa good advisor good guide lakini kuanzisha kitu hana hiyo initiative power hana hana no kimwacha kitu asukume mbele hata eda build ile mipaka ina, inajulikana M, akienda ni kama hivi phlegmatic kama kuna plot zinauzwa tashia na kuna risk atagojea wengine wanunue atanunua kutoka kwa hao ambao wamenunua atasema acha na hiyo maneno hiyo maneno ya mweje <laughs> tena Paka nisikie kuna title mimi sitaki mambo hello, hello praise god Ak, na kikuta zina beikali hatai kuchukua loan asema kama imepanda bei ikae hivyo hawapedi kwenda beyond kile kinajulikana so they are very good people to stay around with but you can't go far na yeye na mkikaa sana kwa doa unless umweke hamu hamu yake ya raha ya doa huisha mapema lakini hakupigi na hana ubaya lakini anakaa tu hapo utakuta ni mzee amekaa nje na kiti uko miaka 60 anambia kamau naenda soko e, vienda thayo utakura boga au utakura crocodile ile tu roho atasema hana ubaya hamkosana lakini hamwedi bali sasa mtu huyu uzuri wake ni hii unaona haazishi kitu lakini ukimweka mapenzi ya hata ya sex atafanya sana wewe ukimweka sasa we muke ukiwa na mume ukiwa na mume phlegmatic hata kuambia kwa kitada nasikia nataka utakuta ile kitu yake mama inaangalia judea anasema huko tu mm. haraduya huko tu lakini ukimwa ukimpa nafambie unataka ye kuja fanya umbe nafasi afanye atafanya mpaka atimize ile juu tulimpa ukimwambia okay, tumetoshaka tulale e, tulale <laughs> Na ni maubile. Shida ni hivi. Haya. Na ya Sagwin mutu wara? Waraha. Sagwin anaeza kukwambia ataka sex. Haraka sana. Hapisa mami. Kwa mbao ni laha. Laha. Afanya sex haraka. Amwake begu. Aseme hallelujah. Nimesikia mzuri. Hajari kama hame kutimizia. Yee yeah, yeah, ni mutu wara? Alabu ki mambia unya mawe. Mambia ah dada jipe mwoyo ni kiwi. Mutu wara hatu. It's very easy sa gwin kupitia juju na awe kuna mambo mengi sana hamalizi. Kama Peter, si Peter Peter alikuwa sa gwin. Peter angeambia Yesu, tutakufa na wewe. Na hajui kukufa na Yesu ni nini. Ikija sa gwin akili yake ufanya kazi baadaye. Mkiwa na pasa sa gwin, mtaanza miradi. Moto moto moto. Ikifika wakati wa kutumia akili atawaachia sawa so, mimi nitakasa maono haleluya nikasema hii tutanunua haleluya atakata kununua ile bila mtu uketi watu wajipange agari tu emotional haleluya jipeni moyo mtanunua haleluya we are head and not the tail haleluya tutanunua hakuwabi vipi na wapi umwambie kesho mwenye pesa na kuja kukuchukua usijali Mungu akopande hutumia maadishi emotionally na akihubiri kila wakati ni, moti, ni motivator na kanisa lake ni vigumu sana kuzaliwa yeye ataleta watu pamoja na akiwa pasta washirika utoroka mara nyingi sana 
hasa wale wazee walio na akili na watu ambao wamesoma huvuta watu haraka hey kujeni this is a good place to be haleluya kanisa naipatia jina very funny hi what when haleluya paka ida kuvuta ingieni ukiingia kama ni mtu ako na akili unataka content sasa no pia this is a place of joy haleluya you know me kono juu na hufurai wakati wa shirika wanafanya drama Tramuka, chukuka. <laughs> Mukimaliza hiyo. Ibada imekuwa mzuri. Haleluya. Sasa wale watu wako na akili na wamesoma na wanataka ku establish humwacha haraka. Kwa hiyo hiyo kanisa inaweza vijana na watu wa raha. Na sana sana ni vigumu sana akupatia discipline. Bora tu akiona watu wamejaa hata kama wewe ni musharati unaweza kuona kama ni timu ya praise ana change kila wakati kukitokea kasichana hapa akasema haleluya yes my sister you are good next sunday toka wewe ingia huyu na anaweza kwasa sana kwa sababu ye huvutwa na kitu kigeni kila wakati kwa hivyo kanisa inaweza pata attacks nyingi na yeye na yeye atavujika moyo haraka na afikisha kanisa mahali haiwezi hai kiakili sasa lazima aite bishop bishop nataka uniambie kakudhia kuli kunaenda kanje to imagine mehubiri tume nimehubiri crusade sita na wameenda wote kwa maana lakini pastor akiwa melancholy is better melancholy hata akikubiria sande angetaka to get who are you uliole walini ni wapi uko na shida because melancholy ni perfectionist na atakuacha umekamilika they become better that's why leaders wa biblia kama Musa wa melancholy they are sacrificial at the go for perfect shida ya melancholy na msikize hizo hata kama atakao vile anapenda kitu kikamilike ndio hukwasika haraka na melancholy anaweza pata ugonjwa wa depression hara wepesi kwa maana si anapenda watu wao wazuri tena mkiharibika haraka huumia hara haraka na ukiwa na mume melancholy watakiwa umujenge sana aweza pereka family bali na akifanya kitu we appreciate they can go far lakini akiona kama wewe mama Yaani uh, melancholy anataka wageni wakiingia aone within two minutes chaiko kwa mesa perfect kumepanguzwa kumepigwa spray haraka lakini kama we mama ni phlegmatic you are slow you are not an initiator utakuta we mama amekaa kwa mesa wageni hawana chai unawapatia story hii habari ya kukuza kwenu eh modhokoi naye mume wako ambao ni perfectionist melancholy anauliza unawezaje ongea na wageni na hata ujawapo kitobe ya maji kwa maana anataka the perfect kwa visitors naye mama either wakunywa asikunywe wewe ni wewe ni phlegmatic una shida sana bora tu akwae na amani naambie baada kuongea na wote kadhaa dhili e ni moko nyaa shai Mume akiwa melancholy who is a hard working na perfect perfectionist na muke ni phlegmatic unless muke aombe sana because mtu yote akiomba because his temperament ni maumbire they are hereditary ukiomba sana mtu hudua ujinga wake na uerefu wake roho mtakatifu ataanza kukuonyesha ukisoma gani ukisoma sana kusoma ni kuzuri usome jambo la pili uhusike sana upende upende kufauru there are three things that zinafanya mtu mtu personality ibadilike for instance unapenda kufauru sana unapopenda kufauru sana sehemu yako ile ambao haifai utaigudua because ile ile sehemu hairuhusu success utaigudua notaitukia that's one way ya kumodify 
personality ya mtu. Jambo lingine ya kumodify personality ya mtu ni mtu ambaye unajazo holy spirit na kuruhusu akuongoze sana. Na unatamani mapenzi ya Mungu sana. Roho mtakatifu kwa jia moja atateganisa ujinga wako na na hekima yako. Roho mtakatifu ni kama ukiomba sana anakuweka kwa analyzer, eh? The other day I was ordering kitu kwa you lean analyzer, analyzer. Unakuta roho bwana anafanya hivi hivi hivi, anakwambia hapa ni ujinga, hapa ni upole, hapa hapa alafu ukiwa hivyo na roho bwana kuongoze utaanza kama kujiona kwa kio na nimeona kuna mahali niko na kasoro na hiyo na hiyo ndio kitu kimoja hufanya mtu aabiwe amekomaa ulifika pahali roho wa bwana akakuonyesha ujinga wako for instance peter alikuwa sagwini ni wale watu wepesi kuitikia baadaye ndio anafahamu ndio naona wakati Yesu aliita Peter wewe sababu akaacha nyavu zake haraka baadaye alisema Yesu si tulicho tulioacha wake zetu na watoto tutapewa nini akili hufanya kazi baada habari yenu sasa wako kule kwa Gethsemane eh mtu wao ni Gethsemane <coughs> Yesu asema nitashikwa tasurubiwa na tawawa haraka sana pita sema hutawawa wewe and then akawa that day kwa sababu ya pita kuitikia haraka mdomo wake ulitumwa na ibilisi akaabiwa akaabwa ibilisi rudi nyuma yangu na ni pita alikuwa anaabiwa lakini okay, i don't know okay. did you have you ever analyzed that statement who was being called devil it was a devil in the mouth of Peter. Ukiwa na mtu wa aina hiyo utakuta kwamba kama ni mke wako itabidi umuelewe kwamba kuna mara nyingi atatumiwa na ibilisi kimdomo baadaye mnaongea hata isimtaacha na haraka. Muke aboni sagwini mtu wa raha utakuta wao wow, watu wa raha wanatuma kosa twingi. Na naweza ongea uongo na hao watu wa raha sometime akipiga magoti hawaturii sana so they are not very good spiritually <laughs> mtu wa raha apiga magoti hapa masaa matatu anauliza ninaambia Mungu nini si nimwambia ndio mwana kichwa na nikampa sifa zake na nikamwambia dadi cheka sasa nini kingine <laughs> lakini mtu sagwini na sagwini mtu ambao ni miracle kama Musa ageka kwa mlima 40 days paka apewe kila ufunduo meranga sanguin anakaka mkiona kwa sanguin anaweka haraka unless awe na supervisor dakika thelathini amechoka na ameanza kusoma ameanza kusoma kwa gari ya simu dakika kadhaa simu ameweka chini kama haina raha ameanza nodona akipiga moto ya chini amechoka lazima aamuke naobe maobi ya raha haleluya baba we baba wenu ajabu you are great god haleluya hiyo maobi ya kuumia bana yeye ni mtu yeye ni mara raha raha bana asifiwe ukiwa na mke sanguin awe si mwambaji mtasubuana kwa maana rahisi sana kuchafuliwa na wanaume kwa maana they are very friendly utakuta mwanaume ameingia kwako rafiki yako abia mke eh nyina wa garo ya hai akiambua hai hiyo rabo ya hiyo hai mke wako sasa wako kwa juu twa no no ke baba ra eh nyina wa garo yuko smart quiz kwa kwa ya nini na kwa kama ya pakrashida we mume ukiwa melancholy you want details perfectionist unasema a melancholy kama muke ni muke ni muke a to z salamu za high five ni zangu au watoto 
Muke za gwin asipoomba hata kama afanye usharati ataitikia Ni kama hivi <laughs> Kai utakuta anakunywa kahawa town na mzee fulani wa kanisa aba wanachakacheka asema i'm so happy you have made my day kahawa kai gorama eh kama huu mzee anamtamani muke sagwin hugudua leta akiwa amekupatiwa kwani wanikupatia wewe dugu na eh acha tu yesu hizo hatwe takwenda ukiona na muke sagwin ni mtu wa raha utakuta hata kwa simu yake kuna messages ambao they are very funny hata kuambia kuambia kwa kuita mzee mfulani my dear kwa kesi issue you look lovely your suit was nice today I, no vitu kama hizo they huwa wanaitikia raha haraka asipo jazz wa roho mzuri na afundishwe eh ima baba yangu imezidi <laughs> mnaanza kuelewana shida ni kwamba hiyo vitu ni maumbile ni kitu hereditary kama nimewaambia kama mtu hataingia katika roho wa Bwana vizuri ndio roho wa Bwana akupe aina fulani ya discipline is an issue ni kama if your son ni sagwin na awe hukuchukua muda mapema kumfundisha mpaka aubike na neno kanisa utamwona what do they do kanisani utaona he, she is very busy kwaya anaitikia unakumbuka ile sadisi ya kucheza hii paka sema kijana kijana wangu ni wa Yesu huitikia activity za kanisa sana akifika tinyende tinyenja sema toka nje kanisa pale ataitikia tena ya pale nje hara utakuta kama huku muunda bangi bangi ata in group atatoa naye high school university tamu friends bangi aitikia haraka they normally wanaitikia vitu mnapambana baadaye you need even to know the personality of your daughter and your son utakuta kuna kale ambao ni kabla buliki ugwi akiingia nyumbani amekula nyama ameacha ana shuni anaweza kuja na marafiki zake nyumbani they make friends eh na hata hajali details utakuta marafiki zake ni nerasta marastafarian hajali sana ameleta kwa kwa ni pasta hey, ni marafiki zake haleluya wakule hata wani wabigu hata hajali they don't go for details of queen hao ni wakati fulani ambao na kwaito hosana hosenu hey, 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 hey. hey, maya yote jikoni wanakula raha raha tu poko na shidwa guy that's why in the church tusipochukua muda kufundisha vizuri Sunday school waokoke na waudwe na neno na msikeni hapa wazazi temperament yake kama ni phlegmatic cholelic sanguine or melancholy akifika teenager hiyo bian issue kijana wa raha kwa ya taiba keyboard atacheza haraka unafikiri ni upako lakini unakuta ni unajiuliza ni lini alisema Yesu ni Bwana? Alafu kutoka pale kwa gate unakuta atapata kazi sana kazuri anaitikia. That's why most of them kama ni wasichana anaanza kuwa na akili akidaganywa. Ako na mipa na ametupwa. Na usipo muokoa mwenye alimweka miba ya kwanza akirudi amwambia hi do you know something God has spoken to me. I am the father to your kid. Hii ni damu yangu. Na mimi nitakuwa kabisa kabisa hata tukiza kwa kingine anaitikia anaanza kwa kingine. Sagwini inabidi kuwe na mtu anamlinda paka awe na akili. That's why mnaona Peter Peter hageda bali kihuduma. Lakini ageda tu pahali kuna 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 amani kwa maana sagwin hawapedi vita sana anapenda kutulia raha hata kwa na mazizi sagwin anamwambia haleluya unachukua dieda tu dieda tu dieda tu ndio mnalia kajiku fariji sawo na kulakati atana na safariji 
Hello, Jeep and more, Jeep and more, I Jeep and more, Jeep and more, to Jeep and more, to. And then he started, then Abadrika answered, Kuchesia, Chesia, yes, Nani Komataga. Sasa, Bwana as if you were. Bwana, I know you sana. There's an issue. Now that's why we are saying we need to now kufika level ya understanding kwa mambo haya ambao tunaongea juu yake. Munaerewa kitu? Is your son melancholy? Is your daughter a sanguin? Is your firstborn a phlegmatic? Mweza kuta your lastborn hana shuguri sana? Nana katu vizuri? Lakini cannot initiate anything. Kimasomo. Kusema wacha ni kasome. Wacha ni kapariria maua. Lakini ukimpa kazi wambia pariria. Atafanya vizuri. Asipopewa haezi jiabia. Nuna kuto miaka yuti. Ata, ata akioa mufuatirie. Muka waka atramika sabia hiyo. Ata, ata kama ni Ata uneza rudishiwa. Sasa wae niambia kuna toto watatu. Umejua? Kale kadoo na kajua. Sasa umerewa kale kadoo ni kakoreka. Kwa 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 Amen. Muko tuna Yesu. And that's why sometimes you need to differentiate. Kuna shida sasa msikize. To differentiate between temperament and character. Tem temperament and character. Character ni personality ya mtu. Agaria. Tuseme mimi ni menangkori. Nitaka potoka kule duniani. Siku na hile effect ya mabo ni mepata. Effect ya mabo ni mepata on my personality. Dio huda tabia ya mutu. Character. Character is personality affected by influences of life. Buwana inurue sana. And may the Lord bless you. Buwana inurue sana. Now, tukienda bere kidoo because now, lengo la siku ya leo tugetaka kabisa kuelewa some issues. Understanding marriage because kuelewa ni kuzuri. Let me example. Haya, tuagalia Peter kwe sasa guini. Peter, ukiagalia kwa nini mugu alipeda Peter? Because God knew Peter and I'm better sana. See, there are personality. Why, why use Peter so easily? Kwa maana melancholy hawaitiki haraka. Paka you prove. Can I prove it? Akadia muita wa Musa. Kitabu Musa ende. Lazma mungu wa clarify things. Masawali. Nita kapoenda kwa falao. Ita juli kanaji nwa menitua. Melancholy is a perfectionist. Nitakapoenda kwa Israeli ni shana gani taonyesha umenituma kwao. Arafu wakati walikuwa naondoka sema baba joba kama uwe ni nasi hatu odoki. Melakle ni mtu ambaye hapigi hatuwa bila kujua. Sagwin anapiga bila kujua haelewe badai. For instance Peter naambia Yesu kama ni wewe niambia nije. Hata kujua, hata kusama, nifutishe imani ya kutebea juu ya maji. Haurizi hiyo. Sama, kama ni wewe niabia nije. Melanko ni anasema, kama ni melanko kusama, Jesus, teach me to walk on water. But, hello, hiyo ni melanko ni, ananda kwa details. But, sanguina sama, kama ni wewe, niabia nije. Kuja. Sama, ta, ta, ta. Mawibi akije na kudua. Oh, kulitajika imani. Anaba, kuja we Peter. Do you know why God love Peter? Kwa maana, mugu upeda mtu mwepesi kuitikia. Hawa watu wepesi kuitikia, 
hope. They can do a lot of miracles. <laughs> and they can prophesy. And they can be easily used by God. Hello, praise God. Especially Mwanzo Mwanzo. Mwanzo Mwa? Tukienda mbele maiko letaji ya kiri sana, mugu huwa na waodawa. Kuna bakit, kuna bakit koreli. Koreli kini watu simba. Ambao, ni kama paoro. Eh? Anaenda Asia. Anapigwa na mawe. Pigwa, kabisa. Anazuguko na watu, anambia mungu ilifuwa. Paoro anafufuka, anaiduka. Waliu mpiga na mawe, anaudu huku tena. Kolelik haamini kushindwa. Na ukimushida, atarudi kukupiga. Na kuna wakati, fulani katika huduma, mungu atatumia tu kolelik. Hasa, wale, hasa missions zaidi ya mbozi na mapepo na ningumu sana. Hapo sagui na hezi ya da. Hata ya da raha. Kuona wanyama. The same thing kama mume wako ni sagui. Utaona kuna pahali mutafika. Mama dia atasaidia watoto katika wakati wa nini? Umuambie. Unanchua hapo hile. Hamepata mimba. Sanguina sama ha, hiyo haina shida. Aka hospitali ya nawe kwa manji. Ah, sawa. Wacha maliza kumeza. Ikifika pahali panaitaji sacrifice. Sanguina wataki. Ukiwa na muke sanguin. Kuna sehemu za marriage. Agependa kuachwa mesani ameoga vizuri akosmant badala ya ukanyanga matope ya marikiti angetaka kazi ya raha umweke badala ya kazi na msubu wa akili ikimsubu that's why i know of already who was a queen mzee wake alipoteza roli tatu biashara jameni inawekwa ya 1500 tunayombea. Mama kikami ya zibili. Anayacha. They are very good. Raha. Raha ya kuwazisha. Nombea. Tunayenda bari. Hallelujah. After two months, anayacha. Kuna moja nilijua kijana mfanye kazi dia lijuchukua. Tunafukua ingine kubwa ya million. Haa. Bishop. Obea hii. Hallelujah. Tunayenda bari. After two months, hayuko. Ikabidi muzea uze mashaba yao, alipe yorumu. Na ya tatu. Sasa, do you know what happened? Because muzea hakuelewa temperament ya muke wake. Alieda hasara, akauza mali kalibu yote. Sasa, watu walio kuwa na mali, wanakajiba kukodesha. Tawa biyachara tatu, even today, the man is paying maloni ya bank. Si kwa bumuke mbaya, muelewe buwana. Unafugulia biyasha ya nini? Kama mutu ni waraha. Na kuna wakati mutu wakona bili. Moja, ikona nguvu sana. Kuna mutu wakona sagwin, ikiwa dominant. Na kuna kanusu kakota kamerankole. Bwana wasaidie. Mbarikiwe. Sasa pita, unona pita. For instance, haya. Wakati kuliharibika sana. Yesu hata kusulubiwa. Peter hageweza kusimama sacrificially. Anasema, <clears throat> ule si mjui. Kuigia ni rahisi na kuchomoka ni so isi. Haka mkana Yesu mbala tatu. Lakini Yesu anajua. Yesu anajua kabisa. Mataka hasha hapa. Haraka. Yesu anajua kabisa. Joro you are son. Yesu anajua kabisa. Peter anampenda. Lakini Peter has not worked on his temperament. Actually, kile kilisaidia Peter ni kujazwa Rome. Akaoba sana dio akakufia Rome. Kwa sababu ya kupenda. Si, a, si Peter hakukufia Rome akitetea ijiri mwenye alikufia Rome akitetea ijiri ni Paul. Peter alikufa sababu ya kupenda Yesu sana. 
pomu gempika na mawe mumuwe na aseme ana roya mtajua Jehovah naishi no poor could speak language of a cholelic if god be for us who can be against us that is a cholelic gospel peter has the adika hivu peter andika kama basi mumeitwa mkunywa maziwa kama watoto wazuri wakiroho agalia barua za peter they are sanguine but they are godly agalia za paul Bona dika kurindo nimesikia kwenu kuna mtu amefanya dhambi ambao atahitaji kwa mataifa nimesema hata kama siko roho yangu ikiwa afukuzwe kolelek kama kikuwa pia akisema please mtulize ni tu tuona kama ataokoka na jamaa amelala na baba mama yake i know yesu Sometimes ukiwa na mume sagwin ndiye anakuongoza usimwambie lakini jua vile utamuingilia. Kama na mashaba itaenda mkiwa hatu hapo. Kesi kwa high court hapa hataki kwenda. Acha nao tu. Mm. Hiyo shaba akitaka achukue baba atanipa ingine. Ukijakani haraka. Kolelik utamuona chaba. Sema nataka kujua hiyo case iko na judge onyango au arokera anasema getunywa tea nitapita na mtu atakumbuka mejazo roho baadaye haleluya bwana asifiwe pita walipokuwa antiokia ndio kanisa la gentiles la kwanza wakao ameketi pita na kura na mataifa ambao hawajatahiriwa kwa maana Paul alisimama Paul could start for truth anaambia wayahudi wacheni kusema mambo ya kutahiriwa anaambia wayahudi hamjatahiriwa roho tahiriwa mwili nyinyi mnaada jehanam no you know Paul could speak that pita anakaa na wayunani na gentiles anakaa nao wakati wayahudi walikuja Antiochia akaona watamuona akikura na mataifa akachomoka akakaa na wayahudi paulo akamuona akamwambia peter you are hypocrite bale ya watu kona like kana kabisha na poa akasema hata kama peter alikuwa chairman wa kubwa nimempita na nilimkemea Antiochia akamwambia you are hypocrite kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa sagwin na mke wako ni kolelik mara kwa mara utakemewa kaambia geto nikiwa ana na haja aguka na baadaye atabidi kanisa hadi <laughs> mubarikiwe haleluya na that's very important and that's why mnaona pita baadaye haja tajwa sana Beyond Antiochia. The only person I had a beard there ni Paul. Ara Paul alipo pe alipo enda mission ya kwanza alipewa nani Barnaba ambaye huduma yake ilikuwa Ministry of Encouragement. You see mahali <laughs> walipo enda wakaza kupigwa na mawe naye Barnaba akabeba Mariko alikuwa wao. Walipo enda Asia mawe hui vita akaona Barnaba na Ogopa alimkemea kabia rudi na hiki jana yenu akachukua sira sasa sira alikuwa naye nafikiri ni choleric Paulo alipowekwa jela kule Philippines eh, kule Macedonia eh, wakapigwa wakaekwa jela sira na Paulo they suffer together Barnaba hakifika hapo that's why mnaona hata kihuduma you need to work on yourself kama tayada bali I say you need to work on yourself if you are going far. If you are going far. The same with children. The same with children. Kama utalea watoto vizuri na win vita ya watoto na kwambia wapendwa you need to work on yourself. Bwana Yesu atubariki. Kristo atuinue. Bwana asifiwe sana. 
Now, let's go to another issue. Naitwa, biblical reasons for marriage. 